Yo guys, I just installed my new DVO Jade Coil Shock on my Canyon Torque and today I will be making a review about it with my friend Dex. The Shock I had before this on my Canyon Torque was a RockSock Super Deluxe Select Plus. I have lost the footage where the original Shock was still in the case, but it's a really nice case and most other brands don't have such a nice case. On skinny you don't really notice the difference because yeah, you don't really use your suspension that much. With the slower jumps it felt really nice too, I got the feeling I went a lot higher in the air than I could with a air shock. I'm not the best at doing tricks but like with uh, small whips and those sort of tricks it felt really nice too. This is the fastest jump on this trail and it felt really nice with these fast jumps as well. The biggest drop here is not really high so I been able to go as high as possible so I had the hardest impact but it still felt really nice and I barely even felt it. Here's a little drop uh, into a rock garden that also felt really nice. The wall ride um, felt a little bit better because you had more grip and the landing was also softer. Two corners it felt almost the same only when there's a bump in the corner you don't really feel the bump. First of all, I really liked how the coil looks on my bike. Here at Indoor Mountain Bike Omera, I didn't really have anything negative to say about this. Shock it feel, felt really supple when uh, going over small bumps or big impacts. It also felt good. It's got a lot of adjustment because it uses a little bit of air too. So you got high speed compression, low speed compression and rebound. So that was really nice. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please consider liking or subscribing. And this was my review about the DVO Jade Coil Shock.